prepare to shut your mind off and literally just right out the window for 87 minutes. Let's do this. The very over the top Transporter 2. So, Transporters 2 uh, basically is about Frank Martin now working not necessarily undercover, but he's working for this family. He's been working for this family for a month and he's taking care of their son. Okay, and the son kind of takes a liking to Frank, of course, and so does the mom because dad's never around and dad's kind of a dick in this movie. Um, but you realize the family is being spied upon and the son is, has been kidnapped along with Frank for ransom. But the husband thinks Frank is behind it all because Frank was the driver that was also abducted in the car. And they also laced the car with a bomb so that way when they let Frank go they can detonate it. Of course, but Frank made a promise to the boy that he'll never let anything happen to him. So, we got our movie. Plus, we have a subplot about a infectious disease that makes people sick and some other bullshit like that just to destroy it, to distract us from the other main plot of this movie. But I really don't give a shit about that since it really doesn't really have any effect. It doesn't really do nothing. You know what I mean? It's just there to say, oh, we have a subplot, but we're not going to go that, mar that far with it. Now... <laughs> How do you even start with this movie? This movie is so over the top, fun, stupid. It, it, it's everything, all in one, man. The the action alone oh, outshadows everything that the first one does. Problem is, the movie's so over the top in the action scenes, the CGI department. Oh, you can tell the CGI. You can tell the CGI in this one. This one kind of looks like a PS2, PS1 heyday uh, thing going on with some of the action scenes. Especially with the airplane and the sky. The way his uh, new Audi, 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 makes that big backflip to get the bomb off the bottom of the car and at one point it's real and at that point it's CGI it's all over the place <laughs> another thing that's all over the place the acting's all over the place Jason Statham's alright of course uh, the chick that plays Lola not too good at all she sucks I mean I guess they figure her acting was terrible so they the way they compensate for that is to make her walk around the whole fucking movie in her fucking underwear and bra because that's literally all she got besides looking like pink a little bit but yeah <laughs> not too not too good <laughs> for her uh, the husband I remember seeing him somewhere before but his, his role escapes me at the moment but the mom was kind of hot she's kind of hot for a short haired red haired girl but she's kind of cute oh shit the action scenes man I, I you cannot ask for any over the top shit than transport to it. It's gonna give you what what it came here to give you. Eighty seven minutes of one action scene onto the other action scene. Over to this action scene. We're gonna have that big awesome ass plane sequence at the end of the movie, which I fucking love. Fucking love that sequence, man. It's awesome. Okay, that that that's just Yeah. <laughs> okay. But uh yeah, it's it's an okay sequel. It's uh, I I still like this one uh, a tad bit more than the first, but I'm still recommending the first one a little bit more over the second. But uh, yes, so I'm gonna give Transporter two, even though I like it a little bit more than the the first, I still gotta give it a B for some of the bad CGI. Some of the bad acting, some of the bad calls this movie has, but it's still a good sequel though. So drop your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think about Transport to below. Did you like it? Did you hate it? I have nothing else for you about that question. <laughs> so I'll see you guys in the third one.